This is Edgar J TV, and you guessed it, I'm Edgar J. Okay, what we're gonna be doing here, I'm gonna be teaching you photography, I'm gonna be teaching you how to take good, good photos with small cameras, big cameras, medium cameras. I don't know, maybe I'm gonna be teaching you how to take good photos with your white iPhone, with your black iPhone. So the good thing is you're gonna be learning the basics of photography, you're gonna be learning, I was, you know what, I was looking at the little uh, screen right here instead of looking at the camera, so I kind of, kind of, guys, guys, you have to get, I don't know, give me some time. I got to get used to look this way. And um, so one more thing that you can uh, hear here is my accent. So give, have some patience with me. But going back to what I'm going to teach you, which is the cool part, I'm going to be teaching you Photoshop. I'm going to be teaching you Lightroom and how to take really, really good photos with whatever camera do you have. It's not always about the camera. It's about what you do, the technique that you use in each specific uh, moment that was going to make a, take a great shot uh, of your photos. So, I mean, you can be in your son's birthday, your kid's birthday, your mom's birthday, I don't know, graduation, no matter where you go, there's always a good condition for you to photograph with the equipment that you have. So I'm going to be teaching you all the basics of photography and some advanced things. Uh, some of the things that I'm going to be teaching is more for people who are uh, looking to become photographers or well, photography is their passion. So it's going to be a little bit more deeper in those, uh, in those cases. But always you can check the episode if it's not something that you want to learn, something that you already know, so you can just jump it. We're going to have an episode every single week and uh, I think it's going to be super, super cool. If you want to get in contact with me, you just have to go to my website, which is Edgar J TV, and um, there you have many ways to get in contact with me and ask any questions that you have um, that have to do with photography. Today is my introduction. It's a little bit more getting used to the camera, getting used to, uh, to doing this, which is kind of weird for me. I'm always behind the camera, so being right in front of the camera now, it just make it big different. Uh, but today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit how to crop. Uh, it, it, look, it might sound something simple, but I know a lot of people struggle with this. In my beginning, 16 years ago, cropping was one of those things that I always got confused about the ratio and all that uh, cool stuff. So I'm going to teach you today how to crop the basic sizes, 4x6, 5x7, 8x10, sizes that you're always uh, going to get in your printer. And uh, I mean, not in your home printer, but if you go to print to a lab, those are the basic uh, sizes. And I think five by sevens, four by sixes, including eight by 10, uh, there's a lot of new printers that you can print this at home. But if you have to have the, uh, the knowledge how to crop it right, where do you want it? Because when you're cropping, you're composing again. Uh, maybe you took a photo, wide angle photo, and um, you want to now make a new composition out of it. So I'm going to teach you how to do a good composition when you're cropping to the size that you want. It's not the same thing to crop 4x6, to crop 8x10, even if you maybe, oh yeah, 4x6 is smaller. No, because 4x6 is smaller and 8x10 is bigger. It's because the 4x6 has a different ratio than an 8x10. Because an 8x10, for example, and a 16x20, they have the same ratio. So you might want one is bigger than the other one. But the crop actually, the composition is going to look exactly the same because the ratio is the same. But when you go between 8x10 and 4x6, and then you have a different ratio, and the composition is totally different, even it doesn't matter that the size is different. It's not because of the size, it's because of the ratio. And I know this is getting confused right now, um, but I'm going to go into my computer and I'm going to do it so you see it when I'm, when I'm doing it and I'm going to be explaining it to you and that way you can get a better feeling because I know, tell, I, can, I can tell you that it's kind of confusing. It was one of the most confusing things for me 16 years ago and uh, it took me 20 years to learn. I'm oh, just kidding. Um, I've, been a photographer, I've been a photographer for about 16 years. I mean professional photographer. Uh, I've been taking photos since I don't know when. Um, I started part of my passion started, I used to scuba dive and I, I started taking photos on the water, uh, taking photos of the moon and that was kind of my hobby and then I, you know what I couldn't stop doing it and that becomes my career and today it's been like 16 years since I, I 
make the decision that this was going to be my career. So there's a lot of things that I can teach you here. And uh, remember, go to Edgar J TV and follow me there. Uh, you're going to see every week an episode. You can subscribe through iTunes. All this is going to be in the website if you go there. Remember, it's EdgarJTV.com. And um, don't get confused because you're going to see Edgar J Photography right in the same website. Everything is together at this moment. When I'm filming this video, today is May 8th. Man, I'm lost. Yes, May 8th, 2012. And when I'm filming this video, both websites are together. If you're watching this video maybe two or three years later, um, maybe it's not there anymore since it, it has its own website. I don't know. But for now, for sure, it's together. So don't get confused. The other website is my uh, studio uh, website. And I'm going to show you around the studio later. And you're going to see everything that I do. I do a lot of cool stuff like on the water photography. And I'm going to teach you how to do a good on the water photos. And um, for that, you might need a little bit more equipment, but um, I'm gonna try to find a way to do it without too much equipment. Uh, so that's one of the things that I'm gonna teach you in the future uh, episodes. Uh, I just give you a little hips, uh, tips right here, the things that I'm gonna uh, go ahead and do uh, in the future episode. I'm gonna teach you how to take good photos with your iPhone. I'm an Apple lover, and uh, you always uh, have my uh, mug. Let me see here, my Apple mug. And I'm going to tell you a story behind this in the next episode because uh, it's a long story. So, well, it's not that long, but I need to show you a couple of things. And um, so I always carry my Apple mug and because I love my coffee. So see you. I'm going to go back to the, I'm going to go to the computer now and uh, we're going to keep working there. And I'm going to show you how to crop and other ratio and the composition and all that cool stuff. And I know it's going to make your photos look a lot better from now on. OK, guys, we back here. Uh, I'm in my computer right now, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do uh, the croppings. Whoops, uh, where the image went. Okay, uh, let's go ahead back here. Here we go. We got it back. It was He was trying to run away from the cropping. Okay, um, this image is an image that I took uh, like a week ago, and I'm going to teach you how to crop from here. There's things that I don't really like in the image, and... Anyway, nobody. this is the full frame. This is how it comes out of the camera. So this is the size that comes out of the camera. And uh, I'm going to crop it for different sizes. Uh, this, this different way to do this. If you go here, right here, to the crop tool, you click on the crop tool, you're going to get all this right over here. Right now it says 4 by 6 so I'm going to go ahead and hit here clear. So now it's empty, okay? We got nothing here. And we can come, come right over here, set width. It's going to be 4 inches and height is going to be six inches and this is going to be crop at 300 dpi 300 dpi it's uh, the resolution that you need uh, if you're going to print if this is going to be for online or if you put it in your facebook or something like that this doesn't really matter uh, i'm going to teach you later how to bring down the quality of the image so you can put it in Facebook or on any website and it's easier for you to um, to upload or transfer or to email. But right now, um, you got here, okay, that's how we put it here, 4 by 6 300 DPI. Let's go ahead and hit clear here again. And have a, if you see this button over here, uh, you click on it and then you have here presets. Some of these presets come with Photoshop and some doesn't come with Photoshop. Some I made it myself. So let's go ahead and let me see. Let's go ahead and make one. Well, this one I made. Uh, no, let's go ahead and make one for ourselves. One thing that I always do, and this this is a uh, size that I do a lot. It's, it's not a regular size. It will be uh, a 10 by 5. I'm sorry, by 4. 10 by 4. 300 dpi. Okay. So 10 by 4. If you see, it gives you a long image, um, and it's a size that I use a lot. I really like this size when I want to put like three little photos of faces. It's not that big, but it's beautiful to put it like in an office desk or something like that. It's pretty cool. So now that we have, I'm going to go ahead and click Escape to get out of there. And now we got this new size, which is 10 by 4, 300 DPI. But you, because I do this size a lot, I want to save it. So I'm going to go right over here, click over here, 
click this little button right here, like a, a play button. Click on it and it says new tool preset. So you just click on it. And you see now you have crop tool 10 inches times 4 inches. You uh, click OK. And now it's going to appear right here in your list. So in the future, when you want to do this size, you just have to go there. But for now, let's go ahead and go right over here and do it 4 by 6, which is the standard size um, of cropping and printing. Okay? So when, when you start cropping, you see uh, by default, it was a vertical photo. But um, I want this one to be horizontal in this case. So instead of deleting, cleaning, clear everything here and start from scratch, what I do, you see this one right over here, like two uh, arrows pointing a different way. If you click on it, it takes it switch the six for the four, and um, so now I have it. Um, I have it how I want it, a horizontal. Okay, so right here you see, and um, Photoshop CS5. I don't know if Photoshop CS4 or, or older than that. If they do this, they um, that they give you the thirds, the rule of thirds, like I have it here, if you can turn it on. I don't remember, uh, but I have the uh, rule of thirds uh, already always on right here. You see these lines. Uh, this, come on, why does this thing keep moving? Uh, these lines right here, they're going to give me guidance where is the interesting points of the, of the image. And I'm going to show you that really quick. Actually, um, the rule says it's supposed to be right here right over here, right here, and right over here. Those are the most uh, important points in the photo. But in this case, uh, I'm going to have to play a little bit different. You see his face is going to be kind of center, and which it's OK, too. OK, you don't have to. You, you don't always have to be like this or like this. It, it will be pretty cool. Actually, look at this. I'm going to put it right here. And you can do that but you see I'm, I'm losing a little bit of a stick over there and I want the stick to be there he's going back to the center anyway so I'm gonna go right over here actually I'm gonna do it over there he's gonna be kind of center in this image I want to bring it lower but you see I don't want to see the knee and so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in a little bit so there we go so we're gonna have to lose the stick there's no other way okay so now we have a 4 by 6 that's how we like it, and we're looking at a new composition of the image. So we click Enter, and the computer is going to go and crop it for us. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see better. And this is the new image after we crop. So the whole composition changed, and this is a 4, four by 6 composition. So I'm going to go ahead and go back, and so you can see the whole image. Pretty cool. And I'm going to go here right here. Uh, do an A by 10. And this is something that I want to show you because between 4 by 6 and 8 by 10, it's, uh, it's, it's a big difference in ratio. So let's go ahead again. You see we have a vertical. We don't want that. So I'm going to hit escape. And then I'm going to go back here. Remember, do the two arrows. We click it. They switch. And now we can do a horizontal. Look at this. This image is a lot more square. So before we have more of the hands, now to get the same type of looks where we don't see the knee and um, and he's kind of in the center. You see now his hands are touching. Let me put it a little bit bigger. His hands are touching the border of the image. Well, before in the 4 by 6, it wasn't touching. And it's because the ratio of 8 by 10 is more square. And okay, so let's leave it, let's leave it like that. Let's go escape again. And let's go right here and find a 16 by 20. Okay? I have already that save over here. So a 16 by 20, and again, we're going to switch it right there and right here. See how the 16 by 20 give you exactly the same situation. Hands touching the border. When I'm trying to get the knee, I'm sorry about this thing. Um, when I try to get the knee over here, inside, I mean, I don't want to see the knee, and uh, it get, he's in the center again. All the things are going the same way, and if you see the hands are touching exactly the same, because the ratio of 16 by 20 and 8 by 10 is the same, even though the size is different. And what's really important when you're cropping is the ratio, definitely the size, because that's what you want to get. If you want to get a 4 by 6, I mean, you want a 4 by 6, 
But when you're doing the crop, when you're doing the composition, what makes it different is the ratio. And the ratio 8 by 10 is going to be more square than a 4 by 6. The 5 by 7, this is really interesting. The 5 by 7 is kind of like in the middle. Um, again, we escape. We're going to go here, plus the arrows. And uh, we're going to do 5 by 7. You see, it's kind of a little bit in the middle. I don't touch the hands anymore. You see, I'm not touching the hands anymore. He's still in the middle. I mean, I'm doing almost the same thing, but he has a little bit more space in his hands. His hands are not touching uh, the borders. So let's go back to the 4 by 6 And again, click the arrows. And we're going to go right over here. And without touching the, the knee, you see, like, now I have a lot more space between the hands. And... That's the big difference between 5x7, 4x6, and 8x10, which are the three basic sizes, is that you get more space to the size. It's a little bit longer to the size. Um, so that's how you crop. And then you just, uh, again, press Enter. I'm going to just press Enter now. Here, you press Enter, and you have your new image. This is a 4x6 crop, and you can crop from here. One thing, like if you're going to do wallets, Wallets and 4 by 6s exactly the same thing. Actually, when I'm cropping for my wallets, I never crop a 2.23, it's 2 times 3, it's 2.5, 2, no, 2.25 times 3.25, I believe. Let me see if I have it here. Um, I don't even remember, to be honest, because I never use it. What I do is I crop a 4 by 6, and with a 4 by 6, that's what I sent. Because 4x6 in wallet has exactly the same crop. And I want a little bit, send a little bit higher file than cropping so small and uploading that file to my lap. So I go and crop a 4x6 and send a high, higher quality uh, uh, size of file when they're doing my wallets. I know, that's this is a personal taste, taste, so you can do it your own way. But I recommend you do 4 by 6 and when you go anywhere you go to print, if you're going to go to Walgreens, if you're going to go to Walmart, or if you're going to use a professional lab like I do, like Miller's, White House, uh, those two are my fa one, the two of my favorites and, um, at this moment. So if, if you use one, but White House and Miller's, those are for professional photographers. You need to have a company, a uh, photography studio and all that to set up with them. But, it, I mean, if you just taking family photos, you can print in Sands Club, Walmart, um, I think uh, um, CVS, I don't know, anywhere that you print. If you bring a 4 by 6 crop for a wallet, they can, the computer, the machine is going to do it perfectly because it's the same ratio. Okay? Don't crop 8 by 10 and ask for a wallet because it's going to be really, whoa, where the photo goes? Okay, this guy's trying to run away from me. Um, don't don't try to get it crop an eight by ten and bring it in when you go to the lab. Say, hey, I want an a, a wallet out of this because don't work. This is what let me show you what's going to happen. Not only a wallet. Let's say a four by six. You have an eight by ten, and this is the last thing I'm going to show you because it give you a good example. Um, right here. So let's say you have this eight by ten right there. Okay, that's your eight by ten. And now you tell the guy to go and get you a 4x6 out of this. And actually, 4x6 is easier. From, from 4 8x10 to 4x6 is easier. But when he trying to do right this, right over here, this is he won't be able to get you a 4x6 looking like your 8x10. You see, now I'm cropping 4x6 inside that 8x10, and I have to... To cut the top and the bottom to make the four by six of the image. So now this is the new looks. But let me go fully backwards. Um, let's start from the four by six. If you have a four by six, and the four by six is right here, and you want it, this video is getting longer than what I wanted to. But okay, this is going to be the last thing. Um, a by ten, right over here. Oh my God! Let me go ahead, click the arrows right over here. And um, you click, you go right over here, 8 by 10. You see, now the 8 by 10 is cutting the size. The eight by the 4 by 6 is longer to the size. The 8 by 10 is longer to the top. 
uh, when you switch in between to the one to the other one. So this will be the new looks between the 8x10 and 4x6. So that's it for cropping. If you have any question, please go to edgarjtv.com. That's edgarjtv.com. And um, you will find show notes there uh, where I buy my equipment and all that cool stuff. And every episode, this episode is Edgar J T V forward slash one. Uh, Edgar J T V forward slash one. I mean, if you listen to this episode 10 years, if you go to edgarjtv.com, you won't see this episode coming up right in front of you. So you just have to uh, type www.edgarjtv.com forward slash one. Okay? And that's going to take you directly to this episode. And that way you can find any show notes on this epi particular episode because we never know when you're going to be see looking at this. So, guys, it was a pleasure to be here with you again. Well, not again. This is the first time. So, But I will be here again with you. And I know you will be here again with me, too. And uh, so I'll see you. And God bless you.